five data set that you can use to build your first data engineering project. One of the biggest challenges of the new data engineers is that they are not able to find the right data set for their project. On this channel, I have given so many different ideas to start your data engineering projects. But people are still not able to do that. In this particular video, I will recommend you the five different data sets that you can use to build your next data engineering project. I will also give you the framework that you can use to build this project. So I will give you the step by step guidance on how to execute your project from start to end. From getting the data to building a data model to writing the transformation job and putting that data onto some kind of data warehouse. If you are seeing me for the first time, then my name is Tarashil. On this channel, we mainly talk about data engineering, freelancing, productivity, and overall tech stuff. So if you like these type of content, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And without wasting time, let's get started. Now, before going forward, let's talk about our today's sponsor, Project Pro. One of the best ways to get hands-on practice is by doing project. And Project Pro has more than 200 projects available and more than 2000 code recipes that are freely available. Project Pro is a curated library of solved end to end verified projects in the space of data science, machine learning, and big data. All of the projects are created by top industry experts from top global tech companies. Here you will find end to end project solution, reusable code, guided videos. 24 into 7 customer support. So if you are someone who wants to become a data engineer or data scientist, then Project Pro can help you with that. Visit projectpro.io to learn more about it. I will put the link in the description. And now let's continue with our video. Now before talking about different data set that you can use to build your project, let's understand the basic framework that you can apply to this data set and build your first data engineering project. You can apply this particular framework to any of the data set that you find online. This is the basic architecture diagram you will follow. You have a data set. You will build a data model. You will create the tables in the databases and upload your data. You will extract data from relational database and write some transformation job and store that data somewhere in the target location. Now let me give you the brief of this architecture diagram. So we have a data set. We need to build a data model. A data model is basically the visual representation of how your data looks. So your data will be stored across multiple files and you don't really know what this data contains and how this data are connected together. For that, you will build the data model. Data model will help you to understand how different files are connected together, what type of columns they contain, and what are the different primary keys are available in each of the individual files. So the first step after getting the data set is to build a data model so that you can understand what is happening inside the data. After you get the visual representation of how your data looks, the second step is to actually build those tables onto relational databases and insert data into relational database. For this particular step, we will write some kind of Python code and we will connect to the database using Python. We will execute some query to create tables then insert data into database. Now don't worry about if you don't know all of these things, I have the detailed playlist on all of these individual things that we will be talking in this video. So I will give you the practical roadmap that you can use to execute this entire project. So don't worry about if you don't know any of these things, you will get all of the resources in this particular video. Now, once you have your data into RDBMS, then comes the part of writing ETL job, extract transform load. This is the part where you will extract the data, do some transformation on it and load that data onto some kind of target location. This target location can be anything, your local file system or any data warehouse. Now, this is very high level architecture diagram. Now, let me give you the detailed understanding of how you can execute this particular architecture diagram on different clouds and how you can remove one component and replace it with some other component. In the first step, you can select any data set you want. The second step is to select the right databases. In the databases, you can select MySQL, PostgreSQL or any of the databases you like. So there are multiple choices. You can select one of these and get started. For storage of the file, you can use local system or S3, Google storage, Azure blob or anything. Transformation can be done using simple Python script on local machine, AWS glue, Google Data Proc, Airflow, and similar tools or similar ETL tools available in the market. At the end, final storage will be done on Snowflake, Redshift, BigQuery, or any of the data warehouse you like. Now, don't get scared if you don't know any of these things. You don't really need to know all of these things before you actually start the project. The only thing you need to do is sit front of the screen and learn all of these things while you execute this particular project. The beauty of this particular project is that it is step by step execution of entire thing. First, you will select some database, then you will build data model. You will write transformation job based on the tools that you want to learn and store your data onto some kind of target location. So the question is how you can learn all of these things. 
things now if you want to learn about data modeling and how to connect python with databases i already have this particular playlist you can go watch it and start executing it if you want to learn about your transformation or get the basics of cloud computing you can watch this particular series this will give you the basics of cloud and how to write transformation scripts online and if you want to do the end to end project and want complete guidance then you can watch this particular project in this particular playlist you will get to execute entire data engineering project from start to end so doing all of these things will prepare you for your next step that is doing project by yourself so that you can add that project in your resume so now let's talk about the five different data set that you can use to build your next data engineering project and add it in your resume the first data set is the dvd rental database this is the hello world of the data world this data set is spread across multiple files and they are connected on some primary key this will be your first practice data set the tutorial i have on data modeling is using this particular data set so in the first project you will learn about all of these data set by yourself and from the second project you will start selecting the right data set that you want to work on that you want to add it in your resume the next four data sets are available on kaggle the second data set is Airbnb Amsterdam. This particular data set is spread across different files. So you will have the calendar, listing, listing details, neighborhoods, reviews, geolocations and review details. So you can build a data model and try to understand this particular data set. And after building the data model, you can go upload this data onto relational database and move forward with that. The third data set is Tokyo 2020 Olympic Summer Games. Again, this particular data set is spread across multiple files, the medal totals, medals, athletes, coaches, technical officials. So you can understand how to connect these data set by building data model. Fourth data set on the list is Brazilian e-commerce. Now this is the e-commerce data set. This particular data set is similar to Amazon or any other e-commerce site available. So you can apply the similar framework on top of it. And then we have like financing healthcare. So this is mainly the healthcare domain. Now there are more than 18 different files available in this particular data set. All of the data set that I talked about are sorted based on the complexity. The first data set is quite easy to understand. Second data set Airbnb Amsterdam is also easy because it has around four to five different files. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics is also a little bit easier. The e-commerce data set is a little bit difficult and financing healthcare is complex one. So all of these data sets are sorted based on the complexity. You can go step by step, execute these projects, add your own creativity into it. Again, you don't really have to follow this particular framework as it is. You can modify this particular architecture diagram the way you want. The only thing you need to make sure Sure is that you go step by step and execute these projects by yourself and i already have the detailed tutorials on all of the different things we talked about so please use these free resources to learn all of these things i hope you found this particular video helpful and if you did then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you for watching see you in the next video